So how many of you guys have fur babies? We love our fur babies. This is Miss Molly. She's a 10 year old Basset and her brother Jack. And they love treats, don't you guys? Well today I'm going to get into my kitchen and we're going to make some dog treats and some cat treats. So they're treats for your fur babies. So hang with me guys and we'll get this show on the road. So who doesn't love their fur babies? And so I thoroughly enjoy making treats for them. So we're gonna get busy making, first we'll do the dog treats. And it's the pumpkin and peanut butter dog treats and Molly and Sis, Molly and Cisco, Molly and Jack love them. And so let's get started. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to want to take a cup of pumpkin. Put it into your bowl, a cup of peanut butter. Jack and Molly both like peanut butter treats, so this is actually one of their favorite ones. And they can't eat just one, especially Jack. He thinks he has to have a three or four. Okay, then you're gonna add four eggs. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to mix it. Just mix it on the end. All that combined really good, guys. You want it to, to uh, mix well. What you're going to do next is you're going to add, oh, about a cup of flour at a time. This is seven cups of flour that you're going to be putting in to your pumpkin mixture, pumpkin and peanut butter mixture. Do that and then blend. This is a whole wheat flour that I'm putting in the uh, pumpkin and peanut butter mixture. You do not want to use any other kind of flour like all-purpose brick flour, self-rising flour. Do not use any of that. You make sure that you have a whole wheat um, flour. Make sure you've got a little bit of flour on your mat. Okay, you start kneading your dough. It's a real thick, and if it's a little bit dry, go ahead and add an egg or two, because it can be, um, especially if you're doubling the batch. You can, uh, it seems like it, you know, it gets a little bit dry. But go ahead, no problem with adding another egg or two. And, and the note, when you have fresh eggs like I do, not all of your eggs are the same size, so you really, Look and make sure that you have like um, the largest eggs that you, you know, that you can get. Now that you've got it all rolled out, oh, about a half inch thick. I have several that I like to make for the dogs. One of them is a little cowboy hat. And so I'm gonna just press it in. Pull this away. And set it over here. You're going to want to line a cookie sheet um, with parchment paper, and we're going to put them on it here in just a minute. So, cut this. Once you got your um, cookies on your cookie sheet, just go ahead and put it into the oven. The oven is preheated to 350, and you're going to want to bake these for about 20 minutes. Meanwhile, let's get busy on the cat treats. So now we are ready to make our salmon cat treats. Now I'll make these for um, Cisco and Pepper and Miss Ellie. Miss Ellie is our outside cat and can't get a picture of her because she don't stick around long enough, but she's gonna get some of these too. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to open up a can of um, salmon and do not drain it. Dump it into your bowl. And you're gonna wanna um, uh, Chop this finely, put it in a, like a food processor or a little chopper and get it to where it's um, chopped really fine. 
and then you're going to add an egg. And then you're going to blend it. Just put it on low. Egg mixed with your salmon. To add flour just a little bit at a time. Now, once you're mixing your dough and it looks like it, maybe it's too dry, then you're going to want to add just a little bit of water to it. And if it looks like it uh, needs more flour, maybe it's too wet looking, add just a little bit of flour to your dough to get it like you want it to. So mine was a little bit dry, so I added a little bit more water to it to get it to the consistency that it's supposed to be. This looks a lot better. Okay, let's see if I can start forming the dough. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's put the dough on yet. Just start working your dough. Kind of knead it a couple of times. Hold it in. Press it down. I probably want to do this a couple of times. Hold it in. Knead it down. And then, let's get busy rolling it out. Remember to use whole wheat flour, even for your cat for babies. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to cut in little strips, like you would if you were doing dumplings or Maybe a lattice pie. And we're just going to go like this. Like that. For the cats. But before I get any further, I need to go check on the cookies for the dogs. Oh, uh, yeah. We are done. Get these babies out. We'll have to put more in. We'll get these cooling. We'll be ready to snack on them here in just a little while and so we're just going to start cutting strips like this all the way down so once you've got them cut you're going to want to move them onto um, your cookie sheet and see that's a perfect size for a cat they don't need anything bigger than that and so we're going to move these over onto the um, cookie sheet and put them in the oven on 350 and they're going to bake for about 15 to 20 minutes. So now they are ready to go into the oven. They are done. We'll let them cool and then I'm, we'll give them to our fur babies. And so our pumpkin peanut butter cookies are done. We got a boot and a bone and both dogs are drooling, wanting to test them out. So let's see what we got, Molly. Oh, she's gonna jump and go. Easy Jack. Oh. Goodness, I mean, he takes eating very serious. <laughs> oh, yes. Do we give him a thumbs up? I think we're going to let his master give him his. <laughs> Richard. Jack belongs to Richard and Molly is mine. 
So needless to say, I think that both dogs gave the dog treats a thumbs up. What do you think? Hmm? Do you like that? You swallowed yours whole. Goodness, Jack. What they think about their treats. Oh my. They like them. Those good? Yeah. Oh, they like them. Salmon in it. They like that salmon. And so, the treats was a real hit. Jack and Molly absolutely loved them, and so did um, Cisco and Pepper. Yeah. And so, guys, if you would like this recipe, click the subscribe button below. Otherwise, I will see you in two weeks for another episode of Susie's Secret Recipes. Happy trails. Thank you.